Hey, are we live? Can you hear me? It's Miriam Schulman here, and I can't wait to get started to talk to you about my secret formula for painting black dogs and black cats. So I'm just going to uh, adjust the settings here. Um, I think I can change the layout. So I'm going to do a quick audio check, see what people are saying. If you can hear me, let me know what you see on the screen. Okay, I just got a confirmation my audio is good and we're live and we're going to go and get started. So today is all about how to paint black dogs and black cats. I'm trying to figure out how to change it so that I'm little and the screen is big. I think that's what I want. No. Yes, this. All right, we'll go with this. Hopefully that will work. Okay, so first of all, uh, Facebook has some privacy issues, so I will not be able to see you in the chat unless you go to shulmanart.com forward slash comment. So if you're wondering why I'm not giving you a shout out or if I don't see your comment, that is why. So here's how you can fix that. Go to a separate tab, open it up, follow the steps. Okay, so this training is for you if you struggle to paint black dogs or black cats in watercolor. Let me know in the comments if that is you. Okay. All right. So Carolyn is here. She can hear me. And let me know if you are someone who struggles to paint black dogs and cats. Before we dive in today's training, I just wanted to let you know that if you've always wanted to learn how to paint your pets, but you don't know where to start, then you can actually sign up for a free ebook. It's Painting Pets with Passion, and it's a getting started guide for furry friend lovers. Here's what this free 50 page ebook will teach you why painting pets creates an art legacy, practice two easy tutorials for drawing pets using the shape method, print out the complete supply list, and here's how you get it. The free ebook is shulmanart.com forward slash ebook. All right, so now let us get started. Okay, let's move this over here. All right, so the secret for painting black cats is having black paint that you mix yourself. There's actually lots of secrets, by the way, but the one I'm sharing with you today is a big one. So I do want to hear from you in the comments. Let me know if you are already painting in watercolor and if you already paint um, black dogs and cats or if this is something you really want to learn, give me a thumbs up or a heart emoji. Keep on moving along. All right. So this is the recipe for those who have not taken any of my other classes. So I don't believe, <clears throat> excuse me, and using black paint out of a tube, I feel like that gets you a very flat result. So for this recipe, I got it from Judy Morris from her book, Watercolor Basics. I fully recommend this book as it has many great exercises and projects. So let's talk about Morris Black. Now, like I said before, it's not just about mixing the black paint, because if you look at this painting that I've done of this Labrador, you can see there's actually a lot of colors in the underpainting. So that is part of it as well. But using a mixture you make yourself for black paint makes a huge difference. So this is what I recommend is the Morris black paint. It's a full tube of Windsor red. It's two thirds of a tube of Windsor green and an eighth of a tube of cerulean blue and an eighth of a tube of sepia. So I'm just going to make that nice and big so you guys can write that down if you need to. All right, moving along. If you mix these together in a container and then add just enough water to make it the consistency of melted ice cream and keep it tightly covered in the container and it lasts, the container will usually last for years. So this painting here is done by one of my students who has taken the dog days portion of Pet Portrait Academy and learned how to paint using my methods. Okay, so I wanna hear from you. We have time for both questions and takeaways. So if you can let me know, uh, if you have any questions, I am here to answer them live. 
Okay, so Joy just did. Oh, yeah, I remember your tuxedo cat. That was gorgeous, Joy. You did a really good job with it. Okay, so we moved along really quickly. If you have a takeaway, share in the comments. I'm not really seeing any right now. If you have a question, you can share that as well. So we're just going to move on to the next slide. And I know there is a delay between when I sh share something and I say something and I see you actually talking back to me. So I am just going to let you know one more time that you can get started with a free ebook. So if you go to shulmanart.com forward slash ebook, you can download a getting started guide for drawing and painting pets. Totally free. All I need is your name and email. We will send it on your way. All right, let me peek back at the comments. Okay, I'm not seeing too many questions today, although this was a very very popular topic that was requested. So if you are watching me live or if you're watching the replay and you like today's training, give me a thumbs up or a heart emoji. And the other thing I'd like to hear from you if there are no questions, let me know in the comments below what kind of trainings you'd be looking forward to in the future. I would love to hear from them. Um, Carolyn wants me to repeat the colors. Of course, you can also, re if you're watching this live, you can also re-watch this from the beginning, but I'll just put this up a little longer. It's a tube of Windsor Red, Windsor Green, Cerulean Blue, and Sepia. So there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna go back. So you can watch this again and pause the video and write it down and you're welcome. Okay, so I just wanna thank everybody who was here today with me live. It was wonderful. And I will be back next week. So next week, we are talking about really the tips for capturing the essence of your pet. So if you have been enjoying this trainings, I would love to see you back here next Thursday, one o'clock New York time or whatever time that is in your time zone. And I'll see you then.